Hi guys, thanks for joining in. I'm Jaap Kalkman from Skin River Fly Supply. Today we're going to have a look at how to prepare a snow runner for a hair wing application. So here we have a piece of snow runner that has been prepared already uh, by brushing it out with an animal brush and um, it's been ironed as well to straighten the fibers out a little bit more. The next thing that you would do after that if you want to tie a hair wing, you would take a bunch of the snow runner, and it doesn't have to be very big, Let's say about that amount, and you cut that off close to the base of the hide, like so. Then after you have done that, you are going to remove the under fur from the bunch of hair that you just cut off. Just like that. Now we have a bunch that you could tie in like that, but it's very uneconomical to tie it in like that and it will give you, for smaller patterns, not a very full wing. If you do this for big fly like this, then it would work. That will give you a nice wing. But for smaller patterns, what you want to do, you want to even this out a little bit more, like so. Then start taking, pinch it here at the base and then start pulling your fibers from the top in small bunches and line them up evenly with the tips like that. Keep going and pulling at the top so that you get shorter and shorter fibers. As the fibers get shorter it gets softer, the material. And the result of that is that you're going to get a nice full wing that's a little bit softer and fuller for smaller fly application. Now, remove the small stranglers there and then you have a nice fuller wing for shorter patterns like standard steelhead or salmon fly, like that. And that's the way I prepare my hair before I tie it in, in most occasions. I hope that helps out. Uh, stay uh, tuned to our channel. You can subscribe uh, below the video link uh, by clicking on it and then you'll be informed about our YouTube uh, episodes that are coming up. Thanks for watching.